The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, second chapter, text number 13 through 17, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on November 25th, 1968, in Los Angeles. So, continually passes in this body from boyhood to youth and then to old age. Similarly, the soul also passes into another body at death. The self-realized soul is not bewildered by such a change. Report. Since every living entity is an individual soul, each is changing his body at every moment, manifesting sometimes as a child, sometimes as a youth, and sometimes as an old man. Although the same spirit soul is there and does not undergo any change, the individual soul finally changes the body itself and transmigrating from one to another. And since it is sure to have another body in the next birth, either material or spiritual, there is no cause for lamentation by Arjuna on account of death, either over Bhisma or over Drona, for whom he was so concerned. <coughs> Rather, now, this simple fact, as it is ex uh, explained in the Bhagavad Gita, that being uh, the the change of body is taking place every moment. Uh, every moment, that's the child. The child, if there is some measuring instrument, if you measure this child today, tomorrow you'll find uh, the child has grown or changed the body. That is a uh, medical science of the body is changing. <coughs> the body is changing, but uh, the soul is there. Just like I had my childhood body, boyhood body, and now I am a different body, but I remember all the activities of my childhood. Uh, therefore I am permanent. And body is changing. This simple truth, what is the difficulty for the people to understand? The simple truth. The body is changing, but I am not changing. I am eternal. Therefore, I am not this body. I am not changing. This simple truth, the, the, the first instruction of Bhagavad Gita. Krishna has begun in instructing Arjun after Arjun has accepted his discipleship. The first instruction is this that you are lamenting on the body of your grandfather and teacher regarding fighting. But your grandfather at the soul which is already explained that you as soul, I am as the Supreme Soul, are all these kings and soldiers of assembled, they are also souls. They existed in the past. Now they have changed their body. Again they will change their body, but they will exist. This is the instruction. The body is changed, and the uh, vivid example that in this life we are changing bodies. So what is the difficulty of understanding the simple truth that the soul is different from the body? And so far eternity of the soul, that is also there is proof, because in childhood I was present. In boyhood I was present. In youthhood I was present. And in this old age I am still present. So naturally it is concluded that when I change this body, I exist. When I change this body, this body will be changed. The father is hantaram prapti, as the parent of this child. Now, she is, uh, say, one feet long only. 
when this child will grow five feet long, the father and mother will they cry, Oh, my child, where is my child that one feet long? He knows. The parents know that my child is there. They change the body. This is a fact. Similarly, you are lamenting on the body of your grandfather and teacher. Even they change their body, what is the cause of lamentation? They will exist. This is the beginning of instruction of Bhagavad or spiritual instruction. Unless one understands this uh, simple fact, that the soul is different from this body, the soul is eternal, the body is temporary, changing, because without understanding this there is no spiritual education, a false education. If one identifies with this body, there is no understanding of spiritual. According to my capacity of paying rent. This is my thing. Otherwise, why everyone does not get first class body, king's body, or rich man's body? Child born immediately is rich man. So, there is an arrangement. And another child born in the same moment is very poor man. Why? This is called karma kanda. 
this child is given a room, an apartment, according to his capacity of paying rent. The other child is given another apartment, very luxurious apartment, according to his capacity of rent paying. This is called karma-kāṇa. According to your karma or work, you get a body, either as a king's son or a cobbler's son or a dog's son or a cat's son or a tree's son or a plant's son. This is, this is the understanding. Krishna said in the last word that they don't think we did not exist in the past we are existing at present, and we shall continue to exist in the future. Exactly like that. That we live in one apartment, then if I am able to pay more rent, I transfer to another apartment. Or if I cannot pay the present rent, then I will have to move to another less rented apartment. This is called I existed in one apartment, now I am existing in one apartment, and I shall exist in another apartment. So I am eternal. I am simply changing my apartment or place. This simple thing. Asmin dehe jatha has Kumar Jovanam jana. In this life I am experiencing that I changed so many apartments. I was a child, that apartment I changed into boy, then again I changed that apartment into youth, then I am old man. So when this apartment will be vacated, I will have to accept another apartment. Where is the difficulty to understand? So I'll describe the meaning of this verse from uh, our German edition. Wie die verkörperte Seele fortwährend in diesem Körper von Kindheit zur Jugend und zu alter Wanne, so geht sie auch beim Tode in einen anderen Körper ein. Die selbstverwirklichte Seele wird von einem solchen Wechsel nicht verwehrt. Ja. Life after death. It's not very difficult to understand. We have got different grades of life, just like the child is crying, that is also life. Then the child body vanquished, then gets another body, boy's body, then this body also vanquishes, another body, youthful body, this body also vanquishes, and then a old man's body like me, this will also vanquish. So the logic is, as the other bodies vanquish, and I get a next body, similarly, when this old body will be vanquished, I get another.
So here it is stated by the supreme authority Krishna. That at these bodies are changing in this duration of life. It is changing the old body, the child's body, boy's body of me. They are no longer existing, but I am existing. I know that I had a small body like this. I had a boy's body, youthful body. I can remember. Therefore, uh, I am Itana. The bodies are temporary. So this is evolution, this evolution theory. It is not theory, it is fact. It is stated in the basic literature, Padma Purana, how we have passed through so many bodies and ultimately we have got this civilized human form of body. We have to pass through uh, 900,000 forms of aquatic body within the water. Isn't uh, 900,000 uh, Then gradually we come to the form of trees and plants. There are two million varieties. Then we get the bodies of the insect. There are 900,000 forms of body. Then we enter into the species of birds, one million forms of body. Then after bird's body, there are three million different varieties of beast body. Then after this period, we become human body, but there are 400,000 species of human body. And thus we get this nice human form body with good brain and good consciousness. See, it should be utilized properly. Yeah. By the laws of nature, this is the law of nature. Gradually we develop different types of body and different types of consciousness. So when we come finally to God consciousness or Krishna consciousness, that is the perfection of life. 